Hi, it's about time I uh, bring some to the table, share something. Um, you might be aware that you think I'm some advertiser for refreshing Pepsi, which is very good. But I'm not, I'm here actually to just uh, state the number one conspiracy theory about Coke. Coca-Cola. Uh, the one that tastes like oranges. And, uh, do you want to know the truth about when they tried to bring new Coke in 1983? All it was was a, a classic, uh, marketing ploy. You know, they, uh, they got the two new CEOs from Project Kansas, and they're gonna go taste test, ooh, which one do we like better? Um, the reason why they wanted to switch up new Coke is because they seriously wanted to copy Pepsi. How low can you go? I don't want to know how low you can go, because this this was how low you can go, and, uh, Pepsi's way there, uh, bringing, bringing the kids, loving it, and, uh, the only way you were making your profit was from being at, what, some, some restaurant, local restaurants, that's all you're earning your money from, babe, nah, uh, on the other hand, Pepsi's always winning. Only the cool kids drink Pepsi, which wasn't the case for you. I don't know. Uh, so, you decide, oh, we're going to make uh, this, this terrible Pepsi for a year. Or terrible, no, there's no such thing as a terrible Pepsi. We're going to make this terrible Coke for a year and uh, market it, sell it. Everybody's going to hate it. And here's where the Jew part comes in. No, your your coke isn't juicy, but you are a Jew, which is no wonder why you're doing this. Is uh, when we come back with our original coke, everybody's gonna love it. Everybody's gonna buy it. I love this this coke that makes me want to cough and drink cough syrup. I mean, not only are you trying to copy Pepsi, great and refreshing. But you are now having this marketing ploy uh, for what reason? You obviously still aren't better than Pepsi, so I think it's just time you shoot the CEO in the head uh, and call it quits. You're not going to win. So, put on the tin foil. And let's go.